Okay. So where we have the and on boards, what have and on boards in the sense like it's a kind of a display boards like we have in your airport, right? Like this vehicle number has to go to this particular parking lot and you'll have a status. Okay. If it is uh, green, the door is empty. If it is yellow, the door is about to an empty. And if it is red, some activity is going on. So that kind of a status boards we will display in your uh, uh, in the parking lots or in your check in so that it would be easy for the a vehicle drivers to navigate it very easily so that he doesn't know how to go it means in that case he will check that boat so those kind of an activities that will take some time in order to take it however when we want to perform the same activities in your warehouse and as well as in the system side because this is all the business whatever we have talking <coughs> but this particular activity is whatever we are talking now it is indeed needs to be configured in the same way in the system because this specific step each and every step like the checking in and parking it and moving it to the doors and then checking it out or moving it outside your warehouse each and everything is being tracked with a specific activity okay so those kind of an activities is something that we need to take care of it now actually now yesterday if you remember that i've told you that this is not a shipping and receiving activities because in your shipping and receiving activities we have not tracked your physical units of your vehicle because you simply created a transport unit and then you have assigned it to your door and then you have performed your loading that's what we have done but in order to perform your yard management the specific thing here is we need to activate this yard management entity because we without activating this yard management this will not help you out maybe let me just quickly log on to the screen Okay, first let's try to understand the steps, whatever we have it here. The very first thing is activating the yard management, okay, as we discussed, and then deactivating the shipping and receiving. Because yes, when we when the business is using this shipping and receiving, you need to make sure that yard management was not activated. If the business is using an yard management, you need to make sure that shipping and receiving functionality has been deactivated. This is kind of a thing that we have to make sure. However, now here there is one thing the storage type the yard because the outside of your warehouse the complete void whatever we are seeing here that is nothing but your yard storage type that will be represented in your system with a specific role of a z okay means each and every storage type will be derived with a specific one as i've already said but this specific storage type whatever we have it this will be represented with a storage type role of a z from here okay that is what i have maintained it here and now for each and every activity here like for example if you see we have a check-in activity and we have a parking activity and then we have the uh, door activity also so what we have to do here is we are supposed to create a three different sections check-in as one section parking as a one section and the door assignment as a one section so ideally what we try to do here we would be requiring them in a section that's what it has been represented here so at a hierarchy level point of view yard is a different storage type completely which is being managed outside of your warehouse right and for that particular yard we would be requiring that in a sections like yard sections like one could be your check-in parking or whatever it is and for that particular sections we would require a yard bins okay because it is storage type level we will be ideally tracking it that is the reason behind it okay now once we have this particular storage type and other activities maintained okay now okay the rest is all uh, the one which we have discussed so this is what the configuration that we would be requiring initially so what we will try to do here is first the very first thing first 
first activate your yard management zwm3 first activate this upon we activate that shipping and uh, receiving functionality will no more be required for us so upon we have this particular thing then first thing what we would be required here master data storage types the storage type is yarn none actually the standard one is one sec yeah okay hello i think yeah so this is what i was representing with the role of a z over here because we need to have the storage type defined for our particular activity which is nothing but your z. that is what we would be requiring it here now upon we maintain this particular thing we would be requiring a sections for this okay let wm3 yeah let me do one thing we will create the three different things one for the check in the other one for the parking the other one for the door okay so yeah see get three okay and parking pls uh, 3 and the door this one. okay so i have created a three different activities for the sections which is but nothing but your section and for this one and as well as for this one okay fair enough now yesterday we have seen the doors right because now we would require the doors also warehouse door so what do we look after here zwm3 we need door one actually door two okay let's utilize this one we'll make it as an inbound okay door one and door three guys these are the two different ones door one and door two which are for the inbound because now we will today yesterday we have seen an outbound and today we will see an inbound scenario and in this particular case what happens now we need to create a bin for us so zwm3 uh Which type is um, yard? And for this section, because this is for the check-in one, see north one. 